food. Put your hands up if you have bought food in a halal restaurant. Or oh, halal. I always buy. Right, yeah. right. I've stopped doing it. So should all of you. Oh, right. Oh, I've, I've just realised something. Are you saying then that use the fullness of the law to resist Islamization? I think I understand what you're saying because I'm thinking of something else. But are you saying that some of the money, which is the proceeds of the food, could be going to sponsor? like you know islamization trade and other things that is going on in those regions of the world Z any muslim business any muslim a business owner worth his salt right worth his prayer map he's going to take a percentage of his earnings and give it in zakat zakat yes sir. right yeah. zakat is a compulsory tax it's a redistributive a redistributive tax that can only go to Muslims, doesn't go to Christians in need, uh, no Jews. not Jews in need, oh, okay, okay. not atheists in need, only Muslims can receive zakat, uh, Muslims. right? But that zakat can be given towards dawah, which is Islamization, it's towards making converts. So if you're a Christian and you're supporting a Muslim business, you're contributing to zakat. And that zakat is working against the church. So you should stop doing it, exactly. right? That's working within the law. Yeah. You can use the law to stop building mosques. Yeah. You can use the law yeah. to change the law so that you can do more within the law to prevent Islamization. Yeah. And that is what a muscular Christianity would do, can do and should do. But a liberal secularist will never do that because it contradicts the tenets of liberal secularism. Mm. You, you see, I was thinking also because like when we say about um, helping Muslims and you know, I have many Muslim friends and stuff like that, but I'm not seeing where the help has been pushed towards the black slaves in Mauritania, yeah. Libya, yeah. Um, you know, Sudan, yeah. you know, all of these regions. So it seems like it's going more towards a kind of more Middle Eastern yeah. route. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of escaping the blacks. And it always seems like, I, I've noticed even you made a point about the hadiths one time. Yeah. Anytime it's something concerning a black person, they have to mention it. Yeah. That he's black. And what is, what's the need of that? So yeah. Even when you look even within the religion, it's not helping all Muslims. Yeah. It's helping mainly those of the Middle well, East. Well, the thing is, Islam has no reason to work against its own slave trade because it's Islamic. The only people that are going into the Islamic world and setting black slaves free are Christian missionaries. Christian missionaries are the only people doing it. Black Christian missionaries, white Christian missionaries, uh, Korean Christian missionaries, they're going into the Muslim slave markets and they're buying black slaves, Muslim black slaves and Christian black slaves and animist black, black slaves and they're setting them free yeah. they don't just set them free they try to teach them a trade yeah. they try to give them a job yeah. you so know you're saying that it's actually a lot better than what they were in before but you know i had seen some people trying to justify it and say oh well the slavery isn't like that of the slavery you think it is it's yeah. not of the white slavery it's not of this slavery but yeah it's like come on you're raping the woman i've seen people being led in chains yeah what type of slavery are we, you know? It's, it's I mean, the, 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 anyone who's trying to, no one should receive our patience or tolerance who's trying to defend the slave trade. Yeah. Right? And unfortunately, we've got lots of Muslims in this corner on camera defending the yes, slave I've seen trade. It. They've been justifying it. Yeah. I've seen it. Right? Our society is better off without these people. I, 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 I am an advocate that we should change the law through legal means so that anyone who is advocating for the slave trade yes. should lose or, or therefore sharia law should lose their access to state institutions if they're an immigrant here they should lose their citizenship yeah and they should be removed from the country our country will be better off if we don't tolerate people who justify the slave trade, yes, who justify that. child marriage, yes, who just justify that. religious prejudice, who justify apostasy laws, who justify, um, you know, uh, the, the, the kind of bigotry uh, that we're seeing within the Islamic world. 
we can do better as a society if we're actually less liberal, less tolerant, okay, and, so and tackle these people. So but we need to do with it. With an iron fist. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Right, if you, look at, if you look at societies that have suppressed successfully Islamist movements, and Britain is not an example of that, we are a net exporter of Islamic terrorism. We're a net exporter. Muslim countries like Syria and Iraq have suffered because of the terrorism that we've exported. Nigeria has suffered because of the terrorism that the UK has exported. Somalia has suffered because of the terrorism that we have exported. Wait, but you look at societies that have successfully suppressed Islamists and they do it by an iron fist. Yeah. And, and they seem to be coming up in the world. Because um, some Iranians that I followed again, there's a guy, um, Yunus, Yunus Rocks. Yeah. I don't know if you know of him. He's saying that, uh, I can't remember, 30, about 40 years ago or so, yeah. Iran was one of the top five countries in the world or like very visited. Yeah. Right now they're about 115 in the world. Yeah. So it's just sunk right down. You look at you. Even Afghanistan was, was, was up there at some point. You look at Iran before the Islamic Revolution, mm. right? Iran was a beautiful country. Yeah, lovely, amazing. The, 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 the people of Iran were a beautiful people and they still are. Yes. But they still are because they've rejected the Islamic Revolution. Yeah? Right? It's all right. They just need to shout out Deus Volt, right? Right? But the point is, they don't, they don't do that to me anymore because I just take the piss out of them, right? But the point is, you look at Afghanistan before the communist invasion, and you compare the position of women then to the position of women now. It's terrible. It's a complete contrast. It's terrible. The reality is that Islam leads to the suppression of rights, of minorities, of women, wherever it dominates. And, and Christianity is a, a better system precisely because its system of law is better. Its understanding of law is better. Its understanding of lawfare is better. It starts off with a single premise that we all have equal dignity because we're all made in the image of God. And you have that regardless of your religion or race. So before you're a Christian, you have the image of God. Before you are black or white, you have the image of God. And on that basis, we build an equality in law and seek an equality in law. During the Crusader states, for example, 30% of the, 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 the population of the Crusader states were Muslims, mm. right? 30%. There were no problems, <laughs> even though 30% were Muslim, there were no problems. But Muslim travelers commentated that Muslims inside the Crusader states were better treated by their Christian lords than the Muslims were trapped by, the, uh, by their Muslim caliphs. So, so you're saying that Muslims were treated better in the Christian Crusader states by their own yes. Muslims? Yes, by their own. And that's not my commentary, that's the commentary of Muslim travelers. There's a particular oh, so Mus you're saying Muslims themselves. Muslim, a Muslim traveler who went on Hajj and passed through the Crusader states, please note he passed through the Crusader states on his way to Hajj commented on this himself i forget his name but but there is uh but but yeah he, i can find his name if you need it you know what i would like to take your contact after and um, if you could share this information. yeah absolutely um but i'm gonna leave the floor to someone else okay um, for a discussion it was really Thanks. lovely talking to you it was a really good discussion get in right? touch with me 100 percent. right I, I always give a gift to people I know, i've seen the videos you always give i always gift. give the gift I've seen the video. i'm guessing you've got a bible yes i've got a bible. right well this is not a bible then this is a book Okay. And it, it's a book about, you know, how it's, it's a basically a living a, a saint and the life of a saint. Okay. Yeah. Actually, let me give you a different book. Let me give you a different book. Sorry, I'll swap you. Have that one. I'll take I was that one. Very interested in this book. All right, you have that one then. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. All right. Yeah. Nice, nice to meet. All right. You. God care. bless. Take care.